abracadabra, I sit on his knee. Presto, changeo, and now he is me. Hocus pocus, we take her to bed. Magic is free. We are dead. Josephine Levine presents Magic, a terrifying love story, starring Anthony Hopkins, Anne Margaret, and Burgess Meredith, rated R. What's up ladies and gentlemen, back again with another video, and today we're going to be reviewing Magic, uh, starring Anthony Hopkins, and margaret Burgess Meredith, and Ed Lauter. Uh, this movie is based off a novel written by William Goldman, in fact, William Goldman actually wrote the screenplay for this movie. Uh, the novel came out two years before the movie, and this film is about a, um, magician who has like his uh, ventriloquist doll and uh, he ends up uh, trying to get his big break on stage he bombs like the first time and then um, you know he figures out a way to get over with the audience by purchasing a uh, ventri ventriloquist doll so after that you know um, he uh, gets this whole big deal, like, like some sort of TV deal, uh, but he has to uh, go through like a medical examination, which he refuses to take, so then he ends up fleeing to uh, like the other side of the country to get away from the city and rekindle his relationship with his high school sweetheart, you know, so then, you know, as that continues and you know the, the romance gets rekindled the dummy the ventriloquist dummy fats he, he develops a mind of its own you know uh this type of horror film is not like your typical killer doll movies like you would see with like you know child's play or annabelle this is more of a psychological horror thriller with a very slow build-up so there's a lot of, uh, I guess, character development and backstory that leads to the whole, I guess, uh, climax of the film. I haven't read the novel, but I might do that in a future review, seeing how I do a separate review involving books. And maybe I'll even do a comparison between the book versus the film. I have to do that also with another movie too, including uh, Angelina Jolie's latest film, Those Who Wish Me Dead. I need, a, I need to read the novel and compare the film with that as well, also for a future review. But anyways, back to magic. Um, this, this film, uh, like I said, is a psychological horror thriller and has slow attention with the buildup. Uh, with a um, where the creepiness factor comes in, I would say Anthony Hopkins gives a, a great performance. He also does the voice of the ventriloquist uh, dummy Fats. You know, uh, in fact, when he had to take home Fats to uh, work with him off set, he felt like uh, throwing <laughs> the the doll into like a canyon or whatever because it creeped him the hell out so uh he had to call up the director and the director had to go down to his house to calm him down because he was so um scared of the doll <laughs> and, and you know i don't blame him too it, it, it's like a creepy ventriloquist doll it's you know it's head movements and whatnot uh, this film made 23.8 million at the box office under eight, well, under a seven million dollar budget. I almost said eight twice, but yeah, it was under a seven million dollar budget. So yeah, they did gain profit back, uh, from making this film. 
Um, there's uh, a great performance by Barry just Meredith. He kind of plays like the cool cat. Unlike how you see him acting in the Rocky films where he's very loud and noisy and in your face. Here he's more like, you know, the smooth operator. You know, he plays, uh, he plays Corky's, um, uh, talent manager. And, uh, and of course he's played by Anthony Hopkins. You know, and Anthony Hopkins' his love interest is played by Anne Margaret. Uh, Ed Lauder's character, he's kind of like on the hot tempered side. He's supposed to be, I believe, uh, Anne Margaret's husband in the movie. So you see the friction between the two characters, between, uh, and Lauder and Anthony Hopkins, you know, dating back to way back when and stuff. Uh, but like I said, this film has a, a slow buildup, and uh, you know, the, the, the horror scenes kind of happen when you kind of least expect it. Uh, Jerry Goldsmith does the musical score for this, which is like the magic theme or the, the ventriloquist doll theme for Fats. It's kind of like a creepy harmonica thing. And this film, it's like a... It's like a love story, but it's also a horror movie at the same time. It's kind of like a mixture of both genres. You know, it's like... It's, it's, it's a love story with a horror twist. Uh, if you guys want to watch this movie, it's available to watch for free on 2B TV. Also, Dark Skies uh, Films released it on Blu-ray. It comes with a bunch of bonus features, I believe, including two interviews with Anthony Hopkins himself, as well as additional commentaries. I think probably if I purchase that Blu-ray, I'll probably do like a Blu-ray review on that. But if you guys seen Magic, uh, comment below. Tell me what you guys think of this movie. Did you guys like this movie? Did you guys hate this movie? Do you have a favorite Anthony Hopkins movie in general? And... If you're going to watch this movie, uh, go ahead and go to 2B TV right now and you can watch it there for free with ads. Alright guys, um, I'd have to give this film a 9.7 out of 10 on Richter scale. And that's what I believe the score that I give for the movie Magic. Alright guys, that's the end of today's video. If you want to see more content like this, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you around for the next video. Alright, peace.